Hello friends, welcome to all. I am Mr. Anil Kumar from Knowledge Ignita YouTube channel. Today, in this lecture, we will discuss about the pathophysiology of cancer. At first, I will teach you the proper definition, definition of cancer, different types of cancer, etiology of cancer, and different pathogenesis of cancer, sign of cancer, and at last, I will discuss the detection and treatment method of the cancer. Before starting the lecture, a question arising in our mind that what is the meaning of the word cancer? What is the reason of the cause cancer? Normally, in our cell cycle, the cell division process are in a controlled condition. Whenever the cell, whenever the body required new cell, the cell cycle will be start. And after completing their need, they automatically stopped. Even due to contact, even due to contact inhibition property. But in case of cancer, the cell division process is uncontrolled manner. So due to un uncontrolled uh, the cell division, the abnormal cell production of abnormal cell takes place. In the pathogenesis of the cancer. I discuss briefly how the cell cycle is responsible for producing cancer cell and how the cell division process is uncontrolled condition so that you can write the definition of the cancer from the from this slide then next when the abnormal cell are Production of abnormal cell occur in, in our body. They can proliferate itself and the enormous number of abnormal cells are making together and produce mass or tumor-like structure. This tumor-like structure is otherwise known as neoplasm. Then the nature of the cancer cell, how tumor are formed, different prevention method and detection method and how the cancer cells are developed are coming under oncology. It is a branch of science which deals with the study of cancer cell is known as oncology. The first one is benign tumor. Generally, the benign tumor are harmless tumor. They are not cancerous. They do not cause cancer. In our different part of our body, suddenly some tumor are formed which are not harmful of our, of our body so that this tumor are called benign tumor. The common example of benign tumor is uterine fibrosis. Normally, more, the, more number of graphene follicular cells are developed in the different developed, uh, developed in the female's uterus and they are produced tumor like structure. But it does not cause us any harmful effect on our body so that benign tumor are not harmful then the next one is pre-malignant tumor here the malignant here the pre means before malignant means harmful tumor at the present they are not harmful but in future they become malignant or cancerous tumor at the present they are not harmful Generally, after some time, they become cancerous and it is also known as carcinoma in situ. Then, the third one is a malignant tumor. Here, the malignant tumor means the harmful tumor and it is a very dangerous tumor which are occur in, the, in our body. And it is also known as a cancer tumor. In the next slide, I will show you why benign tumor is not spread or not harmful and why the malignant tumor is highly harmful and, and the common difference between benign and malignant tumor. Here you can see the diagram of benign and malignant tumor. In benign tumor, the tumor cells are well differentiated. But in malignant tumor, the cells are poorly differentiated. 
due to surrounded by a fibrous capsule and the benign tumor they cannot invade and non invasive in nature but in malignant tumor they are invasive and faster growing generally the cells of malignant tumor are deviate from one part to another part of the body and destroy the surrounding tissue or normal tissue and this process is known as metastasis metastasis property the malignant tumor are highly dangerous but it does not happen in benign tumor okay okay i think you can better understood and if you, if any type of doubt you can write in the comment section below in the previous slide i completed the basics of cancer and different types of tumor and how the metastasis is occur we know that the malignant tumors are tumor cells are highly cancerous in nature and they can they can affect the organ system of our body so that depending upon their place or area the cancer are classified into different types and it it will and i will teach you the one by one the first one is solid tumor the example of solid tumor is carcinoma carcinoma means cancer occur in epithelial tissue you can remember the carcinoma means the cancer occur in epithelial tissue generally some examples of solid tumor like lung tumor tumor breast cancer cervical cancer oral cancer prostate cancer adrenal cancer are coming under carcinoma they are also known as solid tumor it is important to know that the most of the cancer that kills the male is lung cancer and the breast cancer is the most common type of cancer that kills the female then the next i the second one is hematological malignancy it is again classified into two types that is lymphomas and leukemias in lymphomas the tumor are developed in the lymphatic system the examples of lymph, uh, lymphomas or lymph uh, tumor occur in the lymphatic system like t cell lymphoma hodgkin's lymphoma non hodgkin's lymphoma then the next one is leukemia it is important to point that in leukemia tumor are not formed due to increase increases number of enormous number of abnormal wbc in the blood cancer is occur so that without formation of tumor cancer is occur especially the leukemia is otherwise known as a blood cancer and in blood cancer or leukemia tumor are not formed due to abnormal or uh, abnormal leukocytes or uh, abnormal wbc occur formation so that here the cancer is occur now in this slide we will, we are discuss the about the different signs sign major major warning sign of cancer before before i start it is special announcement for you after completion of the, of the video go through the link present in the description below and attend attend it and if any, if you attend the this test i feel better for this lecture so i start the major warning sign of the cancer american society uses the word caution to help the recognize the cancer and every alphabet having the different meaning and c stand here the c stands for change in bowel and bladder habit a stands for a sore throat does not heal u stands for unusually bleeding or distress t for thickening and lump in the breast and testicle i for indigestion or difficult swelling o for obvious change in size and shape 
mouth and mouth and color source and for nagging coughs and change in voice quality or speak then i start the different etiology of the cancer etiology means here yeah, the etiology means different causes of organi- different causes of substance that causes cancer any substance or factor which causes cancer is known as carcinogen Car- here carcin- what is the what is the meaning of the carcinogen the carcinogen means the means the any factor that is responsible for cancer they may be physical they may be chemical there may be biological carcinogen and i talk to you that one by one first one is the physical carcinogen in the example of some physical carcinogen is x-ray gamma ray and uv ray x-ray and gamma ray coming under ionized ionized radiation and in uv rays coming under non ionizing radiation they are they are uh, they may be they causes they are causes this types of radiation causes cancer then i um, i teach you the different chemical carcinogen carcinogen responsible for cancer first one is asbestos generally some of the people working in the asbestos industry they are continuously exposed to the dust particle they inhale the asbestos so in this case the cancer is occur specially cancer is git the asbestos is responsible for git cancer you can remember that then tobacco everybody knows tobacco causes cancer in tobacco mainly the benzopyrene and nitrosamine these two chemicals you you can remember the most uh, exam, most important is that uh, two chemical is benzopyrene and nitrosamine these two chemical are present in the tobacco and this uh, chemicals are the highly cancerous so that tobacco is highly cancerous and around 22% of cancer causes tobacco uh, cancer caused by tobacco then chromium cadmium and arsenic it is the other types of chemical that causes cancer especially in cadmium causes prostate cancer then the biological carcinogen is the human papilloma virus there are all, there this human papilloma virus is otherwise known as anco virus and this types of virus they also causes the cancer then diet and habit there are different types of thin people are uh, um, sorry then the habits and diet diet and habits how the diet and uh, habits causes cancer generally some gym trainers are advised and uh, some thin people are taking taking some protein powder or it may causes cancer how generally 0.8 gram of protein sorry 0.8 mg of protein are required daily daily per sorry 0.8 gram 8 mg of per kg is required every day in protein diet or in in an average 50 50 grams of 50 to 55 grams of proteins are required every day but due to due to taking of protein powders or powder or high fats taking of high fiber fats or low fiber fats or it may cause cancer then the genetic factors such as inherit uh, g- mutation of her dna and uh, uh, mutation of anchor genes and uh, uh, repression of the tumor suppressor suppressor gene it causes cancer next in the next video i will teach you different pathogenesis detection and treatment methods of cancer it is a very important part of the cancer and 
in the exam point of view so that i am making them video separately thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video go to the like button and click it if you want to share you can and if you are not subscribing our channel yet for what you are waiting for man go to the subscribe button and click it kyunki subscriber to mangta hai na yaar